I don't know any builder who's used an impact driver who then goes back to using a cordless drill to drive deck screws and lag bolts. That's because they work so well. But what you might not know about is what goes on inside a tool like this. So let's go down to my shop. I'll pull one of these apart and we'll take a look inside. The main thing about cordless impact drivers is how light and short they are. That makes the tool easier to use. And to make that happen, engineers have used a few techniques that I want to show you right now inside the tool. The first thing you notice about the tool when you take it apart is just how short the motor is. If you pull it apart, you find that the windings are less than three quarters of an inch long. Here you can see them here. Now tool engineers get the power they need from a motor this short by using four instead of two powerful magnets around the stator of the motor. Over the last five years I've taken apart dozens of tools like this for stories but I've never noticed this feature before. Instead of the brushes being replaceable individually they come as part of a module that you can unplug. The brush comes ready mounted in a holder with a, a coil spring that applies pressure to the brush so it pushes against the rotating part of the motor. This makes it easier to maintain the tool and also lets the replacement brushes work better because they're in perfect alignment with the rest of the motor. The main thing that separates the performance of an impact driver from a regular drill as far as screw driving is concerned is the way the shaft of the tool turns under load. With a drill it's just a straight rotation. But with an impact driver it's a combination of forwards and backwards movements that happen more than 40 times a second. This is the impact action of the tool and it happens thanks to this drive mechanism here. It's a lot simpler than you'd imagine. You've got this disc right here that's supported by a powerful spring on the back. These two cogs interlock with these two poles right here. When the tool is operating under a no load situation the engagement is complete and full just like it would be in a drill. But when the tool gets under load, because this back disc is spring loaded, it backs off slightly and allows the tool to slip, as I said, many times a second, producing that forwards backwards motion that gives the driver tip much more traction in screw heads. They're much less likely to cam out. For a detailed tour inside impact drivers, take a look at my article in Canadian Contractor Magazine. <laughs>